Like Tom Cochran once said, life is a highway. You got to ride it all night long. And that's what four teams have done to Indianapolis is we welcome you to Destination Indianapolis presented to you by the all new Infinity M right here on CBSSports.com. Jason Horwitz, glad to be alongside MSG Network and Compass Media, college basketball insider John Rossi, former head coach of St. John's, Norm Roberts. Predictions for Saturday, the final four. Before we get the outcomes, let's start with Butler and Michigan State. John, what are you looking for in terms of the tempo of this ball game? Well, it's going to be very, very slow, and I think one thing we'll see very consistently throughout Saturday's game is that neither team will provide a lot of separation. I expect the game to be within six or eight points throughout the 40-minute period. I really think that Butler's going to try to push the tempo. I think they're going to try to play fast because against that Michigan State defense, their length, their size, they've got to try to get quick scores. You talk about the Michigan State defense, but it's the Butler defense that we've you know, focused mm -hmm. on in the tournament. 59 points or fewer for everybody that they've played in the NCAA tournament. Coach, this game played in the 50s? Yeah, I think it's going to be played in the 50s, but I know one thing. Michigan State's going to try to attack them inside, get Howard out of the game. All right, who's your winner in that ball game, Coach? Uh, I've got to go with uh, – I'm going to go with the home team. I'm going to go with <laughs> Butler, that Cinderella team. I think they can do it if Haywood plays well. John, who are you taking in the ballgame? Go with the team with the best player, Gordon Hayward and Butler. It's interesting that you would say that because nobody would ever think at the start of this tournament that, that those would be the words yeah. coming out of your mouth at the Final Four. It's interesting, Brad Stevens, the head coach of the Bulldogs, said yesterday the last time he was in Lucas Oil Stadium was a Kenny Chesney concert. Not about playing here. <laughs> Michigan State played the regionals last year here at Lucas Oil Stadium. So we'll see if the experience factor plays a role Saturday. Let's switch to the nightcapper. Duke and West Virginia. Coach, what do you think the key to that ball game will be? Key's going to be how they shoot the basketball, both teams. If West Virginia shoots it good, they are very a tough team to beat. If Duke shoots it well, they're going to be able to spread West Virginia out and get some easy opportunities. All right, John, what are your thoughts on that ball game? Brian Zubek on the high post. He was the key when they beat Baylor last week in the regional final. If he can find a way to navigate that 1-3-1 zone, Duke has a great chance to get to Monday night. And stay out of foul trouble. That'll yep. be a huge key for him mm -hmm. as well. They had 12 offensive rebounds between Zubek and Lance Thomas against Baylor, 23 as a team in that ball game. Who's your winner? You both picked Butler, so who's your winner to play Butler on Monday night in the championship game? Take me home, country road, West <laughs> Virginia. I'm going to go with Duke. I think Duke, I think they're going to shoot the ball. I think Shire's a big key, and Nolan Smith's a big key in the game. Nolan Smith coming off that career high. John Shire had that great game in the regional final. All right, so you, got, you like Duke and Butler. You like West Virginia and Butler. We'll see what happens Saturday night. All right, folks, don't forget you can enter CBSSports.com's uh, Inspired Coaches Sweepstakes. Go to CBSSports.com slash memorabilia to enter the Inspired Coaches Sweepstakes and get your chance at a signed autograph basketball by all four Inspired Coaches. That'll do it for Destination Indianapolis, presented by the all-new Infinity M. Check back for more segments throughout the weekend and through the championship game on Monday night. Take care, folks.